Hello, good afternoon everybody and thank you so much for joining us and for this educational webinar about how you can dramatically improve your pay-per-click performance. My name is Nicole Franzak and I am the marketing director and pay-per-click specialist with GMR Web Team, the company sponsoring this webinar today. We have a lot of great info to share with you today so I will try to move through it as quickly as I can. Just a couple quick things before we get started. First of all, I've put you all on mute for the presentation piece. This just helps to cut out any unnecessary background noise when we have quite a few people on the line. But I will open up the lines at the end for any Q&A, so please do stay with us until the end. However, if you do have an issue or a question during the presentation that comes up, please, uh, you should notice a chat box at the bottom right of your screen. Please feel free to chime in there to the audience, and I'll be checking that periodically throughout our, my presentation here, and I'll do my very best to answer any burning questions that come up as they do. With that said, since we have a lot of exciting information to share, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and get started. So today, let me just go through briefly what we're going to be sharing with you. First of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about GMR Web Team and who we are, and um, so you know a little bit more about us and who it is that's talking to you today. I'm going to talk to you about the Google AdWords auction and how that works, because I find that a lot of uh, pay-per-click advertisers, most of them in fact, even ones that have been doing this for a long time or spend quite a bit of money on it, don't really understand how the auction itself works, how Google ranks people, how much you, why you pay what you do per click, and so forth. And I think that's an important topic and one that most people really don't understand. And it'll drive home some points further as we go into our presentation. I'm then going to share with you, as promised in your invitation, a lot of industry secrets and tips to help you reduce costs and maximize your, your sales, your ROI by 30 to 50 percent or more. And by the way, with most of our clients and the people that we work with, we find that if they implement some of the strategies and things that we're going to be talking about, this goes both ways. They're not, able, they're not only able to reduce costs immediately by 20, 25 percent, sometimes more, but they're also able at the same time to, to simultaneously maximize ROI and increase that by 25, 30, 40, 50 percent or more. So you're getting a double double whammy, if you will, a double benefit. And that's, um, that's a really exciting thing for us. While we're talking about these secrets and tips, I'm going to be going into a lot of talk about keywords and ads and landing pages and why they're so important. And then I'm going to talk some more about uh, the benefits of Google Partner Services, like ourselves, we are a Google Partner, and uh, a thing called our, our pay-per-click audit and why that might be important for your organization. And finally, I'll summarize a little bit more about how we may be able to help you in the future um, with your pay-per-click marketing and other marketing as well. So I want to thank you for joining us. So first of all, who is GMR? Well, we were founded in 2001. We've been around for over 13 years now. We have been featured in a lot of national media, the Wall Street Journal, USA Today, Fox Business News Network, uh, Headline News Network, a lot of national blogs and so forth. Our principals are all um, published authors. They're known experts in the web marketing field. They're called upon to speak throughout uh, Southern California and beyond. We are in Southern California, as I believe a lot of our audience is today. We have hundreds of website design, development, maintenance, and web marketing clients. In fact, the Global Marketing Resources um, umbrella has over 6,500 clients collectively under its belt. So we are not some fly-by-night web company. Um, we're not a company that just does SEO or just does website design. We really do it all. And that's an important um, thing, and I'm sure you run into as advertisers and as business owners that you get a lot of calls from these companies that just do one thing and are trying to offer you this one, you know, promising the world if you just do this SEO. And we just don't believe in that. We believe in a holistic approach, and I'm going to talk about that in just a second. So we truly are global marketing resources. We have dedicated teams of experts in all these different areas, in website development, we have designers, we have a team of 
people that just do social media, just do SEO, pay-per-click only, of course, uh, email marketing, blogging, on and on. We have a couple employees, in fact, that do nothing but pay attention to what Google is doing on a daily basis and what their metrics and logarithms are and how we can stay on top of the latest happenings on the Internet. Um, we have over 100 dedicated full-time employees. We, are, we don't outsource anything. Again, we're really um, the real deal. We're, we're the one-stop shop for all of your web marketing needs. So we're really a digital marketing agency. That's kind of the new buzz phrase that's going around in the industry. And we focus on a couple things that I want to just talk about quickly. First of all, strategy. And that's really important uh, point, I think, to, to bring home to you because a lot of web companies, you know, they, they'll sell you a website. They'll, it'll be beautiful and have all the bells and whistles. But if no one's coming to it, who cares? And we really, before we work with any client, whether it's a website development client or a pay-per-click client or SEO or anything like that, even an email marketing client, we really want to know more about your company and your goals and your customers and how they're searching on the Internet and what you've done in the past and what's worked and, what's ha and what hasn't. We want to know about you and have a full marketing strategy before we ever design a page or before we ever write an email or do anything for you. And that's a really important thing that a lot of companies I don't think do today. And it's, it's worthy to note as well that all the principles of our companies of our company come from a corporate marketing background. They're not programmers, they're not engineers, we're really truly a marketing company, myself included. The second thing is that we really focus on a measurable return on investment for our clients. That's important because a lot of our clients and some of you in the audience today, you might be a startup, you may be a small business, or you may be a larger corporation or growing company. But either way, you're all looking for the same thing. You need the most bang for your buck, and you need a return on your investment. You need to be bringing in more than you're putting out there. And we understand that, and that's why um, we, focus on, we focus on strategy and the things that we do, and marketing is so important to us. So measurable ROI, what does that mean? It really means sales. And one of the reasons why we focus on paid search and put so much effort into that and have a dedicated team and our Google partner for it and Bing partner for it is because paid search is one of the best ways to track ROI and be able to measure that. You control with paid search or pay-per-click marketing, you control every step in the sales funnel. You control what keywords you select for your campaigns. You control how much you bid on those keywords. You control what time of the day your ads appear, you control what your ads say, you control your landing pages and what they say and how and what you're offering, and you're able to change that at any time. You see immediate results as well. You can turn it on and see if something's working or not, and you can test things, and it's, it's a really great thing. The other thing about um, pay-per-click marketing and sales funnels is that it really shortens the sales funnel. Pay-per-click marketing is really kind of a highly evolved form of inbound marketing. It's not like traditional marketing where you're doing a, uh, an advertisement in a magazine or a mailer and you're kind of throwing it out there and hoping that, that your target audience is going to happen to see it and take note and decide to purchase from you right then and there. You're really shortening that sales funnel because you're, act, you're already going after people that are actively looking for your products and, ser and services. They're already searching for you. So you've cut out a lot of the battle already with pay-per-click marketing, and that's one of the reasons that we like it and specialize in it. The other thing is that GMR is a Google certified AdWords partner, and we're also a Bing Ads accredited professional. And Excuse me, I'm starting to lose my voice here, so I'm just drinking a little tea. And what, <laughs> what that means, I won't go into all the details of, of what it takes to get those certifications, but I will tell you that 95%, I'd say at least, of uh, web companies out there do not have these certifications. They're not easy to get. Um, you, we have to follow best practices. We have to go through a lot of training. We have to have a proven track record with them. We have to have a certain number of um, funds under management and be able to prove that over time. But in return, 
we get a lot of value from that. They really want to work with us. We have access to their training. We know when, when they're changing things and when they're not. We have access to a lot of things that other companies do not. And they provide a lot of events and things for us and, and support us in that endeavor. And they do that because they have a vested interest in how um, you as a pay-per-click advertiser are doing. They want to see you maximize your ROI. They want to see you making as much money as possible because, quite frankly, you're going to keep spending money with them and they're going to make money. And on the same token, they have a vested interest in their users, their searchers, and them having the most relevant experience possible. And that when they're typing in a search query that they're getting um, relevant results, that they're finding what they're looking for. So it's it's kind of a, they want to work with professional companies like us to help advertisers like you and to help their users continue to fund this. And why do they do that? Well, it's a big business, that's why. Google earns a whopping 97% of its revenue from paid advertising. This, these are 2012 figures, by the way, $33 billion annually. This is a big business. It's not Google Plus, it's not Gmail or Google Maps or Google Drive or any of that stuff. It's paid search. It's AdWords. So they really have a vested interest in how you're doing as an advertiser and how their users are experiencing their platform because they want to keep them coming back. And that's where we come in as a Google partner. And they work very closely with us, and we're very fortunate about that. And this is why. Because most business owners, quite frankly, don't really have a pay-per-click strategy. They are, whether they're small or even big advertisers, a lot of them are just kind of trying it out. They don't necessarily have uh, targeted keywords. They don't have a real strong strategy or knowledge of pay-per-click or how AdWords works. They're just kind of fishing online. They're like this poor guy here with the pole on one side and the fish sticking his tongue out at him at the other side. But the hope is that with help from certified partners like us, that you can become this, like this picture here, this commercial fishing boat that's netting tons of fish. And that's our goal is to help educate you as an advertiser and as a business owner to become more like the commercial fishing boat. And we hope we can help you do that today. So just really quick, I'm sure you're all familiar with this, but I just want to go over a couple uh, vocabulary terms, I guess. So this is, oh, excuse me. This is a search engine results page or a SERP. This is what you see anytime you do a search on Google. By the way, throughout my presentation, I'm going to talk a lot about Google, but I use it interchangeably with Bing and Yahoo and AOL and all the other platforms. It just Google is the is the kind of the king of search. It's where most of you are probably advertising. So that's where the focus of this presentation is today. But just so you know, um, most of what I'm telling you holds true across Bing and Yahoo and all the other platforms. In any case, so we have here search term. This would be your search query or keyword or key phrase. It's technically a search query is what you type into the Google bar when you're doing a search. Your pay-per-click ads themselves are, as you probably know, typically the top two or three ads at the top of the page. These would be the number one number two and number three spots, and then starts over here with number four, five, six, seven, and so forth all the way down. By the way, pay-per-click ads can often go on to page two, three, four, and beyond, depending upon how competitive a particular keyword is or key phrase is. And then, of course, we have our organic listings down here. When I talk about an ad, I'm talking about exactly what you see here, what shows up when people do a search query in your pay-per-click ads. Uh, shows up. And when I talk about a landing page, I'm talking about what you see when the person clicks on the URL or the web page that is listed here. That's called your landing page. It, it can be your the main page of your website. It can be a standalone page. It can be an inside page. It, whatever page it is, it's, it's just your landing page. So there's a little vocab for you. Oh, and also SERP is search engine results page, and that's what this whole page is whenever you do a search on Google. So, as I said, we're going to talk about how the AdWords auction works. So let's dive into this for a couple minutes. So it all starts with a search query. Somebody does a search on Google. Google then looks at the 
advertiser's pool that they have in AdWords and says, okay, who's got keywords that are similar to this query or the same as this query? I won't say that they determine whether or not there'll be an auction like it says here because 99.9% .9 of the time now when you do searches, there's pay-per-click results. It's gotten that competitive. So they decide that uh, they, they take a look at you. Let's say that you're, uh, let's use an example here that they use as pet medicine. Somebody does a query on pet medicine. They're going to look through you. Let's say you're in the pet medicine business and they're going to pick one keyword out of your account that they feel best is most relevant to that search query. And they're going to do that for all the advertisers that exist for pet medicine. Now a couple things that are important about this, I know this, this seems really simple, but a couple things I want to point out is that first of all, um, specific keyword, first of all the relevancy, Google, whatever Google deems most relevant to the search query. So just because um, you focus on pet medicine, and let's say you even have the word pet medicine in your, uh, your AdWords account, that may not be the keyword that Google selects. They may select, for example, medicine for dogs. And they may do that for a couple of reasons, one of which may be because the user that's d that did this query has a history of searching for dog toys and things about dogs, and, and Google knows this. Google knows their history. And so they may say, you know what, for this particular user, to make it most relevant to this user, medicine for dogs, I bet, is what they're looking for. So I'm going to put that, that keyword in. So Google has become very savvy in how they're working on this. So it really doesn't, it, and also you can only be entered one time into an auction. Your ad is never going to be um, displayed twice. So how does Google determine which ad is shown where? Well, they use a little formula here, and it's basically based on your bid amount, what you actually bid on that keyword, and it's based on something called your quality score. And they multiply these two things together to come up with an ad rank, and this is just kind of a subjective number that they use, and the, the person with the highest number wins the, wins the auction, gets that number one spot. But I want to talk about quality score for a minute. Now, quality score is a metric that's, that's used to determine basically how relevant you are. Google uses this to, to determine how relevant you are. It's based on a score of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. And they look at a lot of different things to determine this. And you're going to hear me talk about relevancy over and over again. You're going to get sick of hearing about relevancy, but it's so important. So I, I just want, if you take nothing else, home from this presentation, understand about quality score. They look at everything when it comes to quality score. They look at your keywords. They look at your ads and how relevant your ads are to your keywords. They look at your click-through rate. Are people clicking on your ads when they do appear in search engine results? And if they don't, then they're going to lower your quality score, even if you're spending a ton of money with Google. They look at your landing page and how relevant that is. They look at what people do when they get to your landing page. Are they taking action and doing what you're, what you're wanting them to do? Or are they leaving and going someplace else? So the more relevant you are to Google, the higher your quality score. And that becomes very important, and I'll, I'll show you why in a minute. It doesn't have to do just with your ranking. So here's an ad rank example. Okay, and this is just a, a pretend example here. So here's advertiser number one. He's bidding, a, he has a max bid of only $2 for this particular keyword, this particular auction. But he has a really high quality score, 10, which, by the way, is almost impossible to get. So his ad rank is 20, which means he won. He won that auction. He's going to get that number one spot. But look at this. This guy bid $4, twice as much, was willing to spend. But he had a much lower quality score, only a 4. So he's getting that second spot even though he was willing to bid twice as much. So in other words, the important thing here is that you don't need to be the highest bidder to be ranked number one. Again, that quality score, that relevancy is very important. So how does Google determine what it is that you pay if your ad is clicked on? Well, again, this is based, again, on your quality score, and it's based on your ad rank. 
specifically it's based on the ad rank of the person below you. And I won't go into this whole big formula that they utilize, but take a look at this example. And again, this is kind of an extreme example, but it really illustrates a, a, a strong point here. This particular person, advertiser number one, who got that number one spot, they had a max bid of two bucks, but because they had such a high quality score, they're paying only $1.61 to be in that top spot. Look at this guy. He's number two spot for the same um, auction. He's paying almost twice as much. And again, it's because his quality score is so much lower. And so on. This guy's paying another dollar more to be in the number three spot. So again, it really doesn't necessarily, I mean, bidding is, is important, but your quality scores and your relevancy and how Google deems your relevancy is extremely important when it comes to not only how you rank, but what it is you're going to pay in a Google ad. So again, the number one goal of the advertiser, relevancy. Relevancy, relevancy, relevancy. I feel like the real estate agent. Real estate, real estate, real estate. But really the goal of any any advertising, any marketing, first you want to you want to find customers. You want to find your ideal target customers. You want to acquire them. In other words, you want to entice them. You want to interest them. Get them to want to take further action. And then, of course, you want to convert them into paying customers. Now, how that converts in the pay-per-click world, finding customers is what keywords, is a function of what keywords you select. And are they relevant to that user? Are, are your users going to search on those keywords when they're looking for your products and services? And, of course, what you're willing to pay for them your budget. Acquiring your customers or enticing them has to do with your ad copy. What appears in the search engine results that I just showed you a minute ago. Is that compelling? Does it have the keywords that they've typed in in it? Do, is there a call to action? Do they understand what it is you're trying to offer them? And then converting customers. Again, that has to. that's typically a function of your landing page. Sometimes it can be your ad copy itself. But most often, people are going to click through and look at your web page and, <coughs> excuse me, and take a look at that and determine how relevant that is. And is this something, do they realize, gosh, I'm really in the right spot and I'm ready to take action? So this is your goal as, as a pay-per-click advertiser and how it converts over. So we're going to start talking about keywords, and I'm going to go into psychology here for just a minute. So this is a sample of kind of the stages that customers go through when it comes to keywords and searching online. They first typically go through a research stage. Then they go through a consideration stage, of course, a purchase stage, and loyalty, which is where they're looking at you and your competitors and deciding they're an ongoing customer, deciding who they're going to stick with. People that are in the research and consideration phase, notice here this is a, a T example. They tend to use short little keywords. They're going to type things like tea facts or chai tea or green tea benefits. These people are most likely not ready to buy. They're most likely just kind of tire kickers or they're researching. They're trying to find out more information or just do some research. It's these folks over here. Notice the longer keywords. Notice the words like buy or gift that are inside here online. It's these kinds of buzzwords and these longer keywords that indicate that people are more likely in the purchase decision. And then, of course, in your loyalty decision, they're going to search on things like brand names. They're going to actually search on your company name. So it's important in your pay-per-click campaigns to include your, your actual brand name, too, by the way. But these are called long-tail keywords, and these are really what you want to focus on when you're um, talking about pay-per-click marketing and you're doing your keyword selection. A lot of pay-per-click advertisers that I work with, they want to cast this wide net and they want to include every keyword that they can possibly, possibly think of, you know, everything from tea all the way down to, you know, coffee bean and whatever. And I tell them over and over, you know, you're just, first of all, you're going to spend a lot more money for these little short words like insurance or attorney, and you're likely not going to get the results that you're looking for, that you would if you put in looking for attorney, estate planning attorney in Irvine, California, for example. So big difference there. So let's move on about how you can improve your relevancy and reach with keywords and talk a little bit more about this. 
So first of all, the one thing I really strongly suggest to you is to use Google and Bing's and the other search engines tools to discover new relevant keywords. They have great to, uh, keyword tools. Google has a, a tool called the Keyword Tracker. And they'll do things like they'll point out to you, hey, you know what, these, if you know where to look in your account, these keywords are not performing very well for you. But these ones here have a low uh, competition, but they have a high click-through rate. You might want to consider using these instead. Or they, they'll search through your entire um, database of keywords that you've selected and find similar terms that you may not have thought of that are also getting results. And they'll show you things like how competitive they are and so forth. So I definitely encourage you to use these, these tools because they're there for you at your disposal. The second thing is, notice this statistic here. Most pay-per-click advertisers see 80% of clicks from 20% or less of their keywords. Let me say that again. 80% of clicks from 20% or less of keywords. In fact, most often, I see, because we do audits of, of uh, pay-per-click advertisers' accounts all the time, oftentimes I see that being more like 10 or 5% of keywords are the ones that are actually getting clicks and getting results. The vast majority of keywords in most pay-per-click advertisers' accounts, and this is according to Google, by the way, are non-performing. So they're either costing you money, people are clicking and not, nothing's happening because they're just not relevant, or they're just sitting there and they're not doing anything for you. So the best thing you could do is focus on these 20% of keywords that are getting you those results, or 10% or 5%. Remove those non-performing ones that are costing you money, and focus on expanding and doing everything you can to maximize these, because this is where the majority of your clicks are coming from. This by itself, we have found with past clients, has saved them 20, 25, 30% of their budget just doing this, just removing their non-performing keywords and focusing on those that are. Let's talk about negative keywords for a minute. For those of you that aren't familiar with what a negative keyword, and a lot of people aren't, um, you want to remove keywords that are similar to, but not related to your products and services, or not attracting the right audience. And the best way for me to explain this is to give you an example. We have a, a pay-per-click client currently that we manage that specializes in water damage. And what they do is if a pipe bursts in your house and your house floods, they're the guys that come in and do the construction and clean up your house and, you know, all that stuff. And they spend a lot of money on pay-per-click every month. Well, we started a new campaign for them in a new area, and they're highly relevant on the term water damage, and we, we focused on, on that as one of our main keywords. And we found that they ate through their budget. They had a pretty high budget in like an hour and a half, but they weren't getting results. And we said, what the heck's going on here? And we went back and looked right away. And we found out that what was happening was, there was a, there's a lot of people searching out there on water damage to your iPhone or water damage to your computer. You know, people drop their phone in a puddle or in the toilet or, or spill a glass of water on their computer. I've done it a few times, unfortunately. Um, and so there's a lot of searches on that. And they, because they were so relevant on water damage, even though iPhone really isn't part of their search terms, they were still showing up in the auctions. So we had to go in and say, hey, Google, we don't want, we want to remove anything, any search query that has to do with iPhone or computer or tablet or anything like that. Remove that. We don't care if they say water damage too. We don't even want to show up in your ad results. And Google does that for you. You just have to know how to do it. And that we've seen a lot of advertisers waste a lot of money. Most advertisers, even those with management companies managing them, oftentimes are not managing this properly or aren't doing it at all. So this is another area that I encourage you to look at and focus on. Using long tail keywords. We talked about this a little bit already. These are highly specific. They're most likely to be in that purchase decision, like we talked about here in this slide. The longer the keyword, the, the more um, likely they are to be in a purchase decision. You know, if I type in green tea versus I want to purchase green tea in Mission Viejo, California, more likely I'm looking to buy than the person who just typed in green tea. Not only that, 
look at this, 95% of all searches, this is according to Google, use longer tail keywords now. So think about that. If you aren't using long tail keywords in your uh, pay-per-click campaign, in your AdWords account or in your Bing account, you're likely missing the majority of all possible traffic because most people are using long tail keywords in their searches now. People are getting very specific about how they search because, let's face it, there's a lot of information out there. And people have to get specific to find what they're looking for. And people are getting very savvy about that. So if you're not using those long tail keywords, you need to. The other thing about long tail keywords, they have less traffic and less competition. There's not as many people bidding on buy green tea in Mission Viejo simply because there's just not as many people, you know, advertising there. So of course, of course there's less competition and less traffic. But what that means for you is a lower cost per click. You're going to, it's going to be easier to attract customers and it's going to be easier to get into that number one spot on Google or on Bing or any of the other search engines and you're going to be more likely to convert that customer into a sale. Long tail keywords very, very important. Okay, let's talk about your ads. So another way to improve your relevancy and reach and get into that, those, those stay on that page one, is with your ads. And this is equally important. All, all three of these, keywords, ads, landing page, is very important. So the first thing is you want to group your keywords into ad groups. And all this means is you're taking similar terms or terms that are related to one product or service if you have multiple products and services, and you're grouping them together into relevant groups that make sense to you. It might be by geographic location. It might be by product or service. It might be a certain sub-niche within that. The more granular you get, quite frankly, the better off you are. So I encourage you to do so. If you can do geotargeting, it's called, you know, by geographic grouping and by product and service or even and by a sub-niche of that, I encourage you to do that. And I encourage you to use different ad techs. That is probably one of the biggest mistakes that I see pay-per-click advertisers make today, even large ones, is that they use the same ad text. Even if they have different ad groups and different products and different services, they're using the same ad text for everything. And that doesn't make any sense because your user is going, is looking for something very specific to what they um, searched on. They're looking for your, the specific keywords that they searched on in your ad text. So that's very important that you group your, your keywords as narrowly as you can and use those specific keywords in that group in your ad text so that people see it and say, oh God, this is exactly what I was looking for. I just typed this in. And they're more likely to click. It, just it's kind of a common sense thing but it's one of those things that a lot of people don't just don't do or don't understand another thing about ads are are you using call extensions or other extensions that Google allows to maximize your response and call extension is a really important one so I'm going to focus on that and all that means is you're including a phone number in your ad and Google allows you to do that and so does Bing and the other search engines and they allow you to track it by the way if it's uh, if they're calling from a mobile number and the reason why this is so important is because if somebody pick first of all more and more people are picking up the phone and calling from ads especially mobile users because they're on the go and they're looking for information quickly but guess what if they pick up that phone and call from your ad you don't pay for that lead it's free you only pay if somebody clicks on your ad you don't want to pay to, to appear you only pay when you get clicked on. So this is a very easy way for you to increase your leads and do it in a free way. And it's a way that a lot of people don't take advantage of. Now you may be an online company and not have a phone number, um, you know, operate solely online and that's okay. But if you do, I suggest that you put it on there and make sure somebody's answering that phone too. Very important. Does your ad have compelling descriptive text and a strong call to action? When people look at it, are they getting exactly what it is you're offering and exactly what it is you want them to do next? Do you say buy now, special offer, free today, whatever it is? Are you doing those kinds of things? That's, that's really important too. You need to tell your customer exactly what it is that you want them to do. And does your landing page match your ad, tech, ad content? We're going to talk about landing pages next, so I won't talk too much about that right now. 
But in general, optimizing your ad text, you're going to increase your click-through rate. You're going to direct calls from your ads at no cost to you, like we were just talking about. You're going to increase your ranking by search engines and auctions. And you're going to reduce your cost per click, too, because guess what? Google's finding you more relevant, and they're increasing your quality score by doing all these things that we just talked about. So let's talk about landing pages. I could talk about landing pages for hours, so I will try to keep this short. So this photo actually was taken from Google. And notice what it says. Targeted landing pages and clear calls to action are the new Visit My Home page. Google and the search engines are looking for really specific, highly targeted search um, landing pages, excuse me. A lot of advertisers, one of the biggest, other biggest mistakes I see with advertisers, and it's not always a mistake in every case, but I'd say 99% of the time it is, they're sending people to the home page of their website, where people then have to search through their services tab or their products tab or search around the page and try to figure out what it was that they were searching on to begin with and what they're supposed to do next. And guess what? You have three to five seconds to capture their attention. And they're not going to want to do that. They're going to move on to the next page. They're going to say, you know what, this is too hard, forget it. But the more targeted you can get with your landing pages and the more closely they match your keywords and your ads, and they're very specific, there's not a lot of navigation, there's not a lot of places the user can go, there's very specific bullet points, there's a clear call to action, they know exactly what they're supposed to do, there's a big buy now button, or a form that they're supposed to fill out right there, or an apply now, or register here, or whatever you're called, whatever it is you want them to do next. Those are the kinds of things that Google looks for, and those are the kinds of things, frankly, that your users are looking for. They want to know, am I in the right spot? What's in this for me? And can I take action now? And if they can't answer those three questions in five seconds, you've lost them. So, the, and the more landing pages you can have, the more narrow your focus. Again, have a landing page for every single ad text. Have a separate landing page for every single product and service or every single ad group that you offer. That's the other mistake I see is that people have one landing page for all of their ads, even if they have different ads. You want to, the more landing pages you can have, the more narrow your focus, the more relevant Google is going to find you. So that's ext extremely important and we can talk more about landing pages um, in the Q&A section if you like afterwards. The second thing about landing pages that I need to talk about is mobile friendly. It's very important. Take a look at these statistics down here. The percentage of Google ad clicks that come from mobile devices, 33%. Now this isn't a full third, by the way. This isn't um, all search results. This is pay-per-click ad clicks are coming from mobile devices. A full third. And this number, honestly, when I look at some of the audit reports that we do and, and things, our clients, it's more like 40 to 50 percent most often. This number is only increasing. More and more people are searching for mobile devices and they want to come to a page that's easy for them to read and see and understand. They don't have to navigate around. I don't know if about you, but I do a lot of searches on my smartphone. And I come to a page that's not mobile friendly, that's not responsive web design, which I'll talk about in a minute what that means. And I have to increase the text and decrease the text and scroll around and click around and try to figure out how to read this page and change my, lands my view to landscape and I still can't figure it out. And I get annoyed and I leave because I just, I don't want to deal with that. And guess what? So are your, so are your potential customers. So you want to have a landing page that's really, um, specific to that device that's being called up upon. Look at this statistic here. Percentage, sorry, percentage of mobile searchers that call a business directly from a Google pay-per-click ad, 70%. Remember we were just talking about call extensions? This is why this is so important. 70% of people now are calling a business directly from their ad. It's also important to have a phone number on your landing page too. And right at the top in big bold bold letters. You want people to have a way to get a hold of you right away if that's what they want to do. And then finally, the percentage of total mobile search traffic Google controls, 88%. 
they are by far the king of mobile search, and this number is only increasing too. By the way, Google controls about 67% of all searches. That was the latest number I saw anyway, um, currently, across all searches, across all devices. But when it comes to mobile searches, and by mobile I mean smartphones, tablets, iPads, those things, Androids, etc. Um, Google is by far the, the king. Okay. So remember I mentioned RWD, Responsive Web Design. So what is that? Well, it's a smart web website development approach that provides an automatic, optimal viewing experience for the user, no matter what device you're accessing it from, whether it's a desktop or a laptop or a smartphone or a tablet or whatever it is. It's basically artificial intelligence for websites. It knows, the programming language knows, what device you're accessing a web page from, and it automatically adjusts your web page to allow for easy reading, maximum navigation, without having to resize and pan and scroll like I was talking about before. I'm sure you've seen you've seen webs, um, web pages in the past that have a very vertical look on your smartphone and have very, mostly it's just navigation tabs and you can click on them. That's what we're talking about. That would be a responsive web website. This is very important. And why is it so important? First of all, it's the new endorsed platform by all major search engines. It's given, it's given priority ranking now by Google and Bing and the other search engines over non-RWD sites. And it's the new endorsed platform for the next 10 years, by the way, or I guess it's eight or nine years now. Also, if you have a mobile you might say, well, I've got a mobile website, that mobile. Guess what? Google now penalizes for that, and so do the other search engines. Recently, the standard was you had a mobile site and you had a regular website. No more. That is in the past. Google and the other search engines consider that duplicate websites, and they penalize you for it. So if you have a Mobi website, I suggest you reconsider that and consider RWD. Or if you have no mobile anything, I strongly consider, urge you to consider that. 60% of all web searches are done from tablets and smartphone devices. That number is increasing exponentially. It's probably already increased in, since the last month that I wrote that statistic. Tablet sales exceeding 100 million, 2.5 billion mobile searches monthly. And these numbers are increasing exponentially. Last, last Late last year, I saw a statistic saying by the year 2015, which is less than a year from now, the amount of mobile search traffic is going to increase 25 times. So, I mean, we're talking exponential growth here. And when you're talking about pay-per-click, when you're paying good money, and some of you may be paying $50, $60, $70 dollars a click to get people to your website, you don't want them leaving your website. You don't want them leaving that landing page. And when more and more are searching for mobile devices, I mean, you just, this is becoming almost a necessity. So I strongly urge you, not only for your pay-per-click, but for your website as well, to consider responsive web design if you haven't already. Extremely important, and it's only going to become more important as time goes on. So I've mentioned throughout our presentation here this audit report that GMR, that we do. And this is one of the services that we do for our clients, for other advertisers, you know, uh, prospective clients or advertisers that are interested in learning more about how they're performing. And it's something that we do as a Google partner, just to, again, as part of our mission to help Google and help our advertisers maximize their performance as, a, um, as an advertiser. So what we do is we analyze your entire account in detail and we go through all the things that I just talked about and a lot more. We produce this like 17 page PDF report for you that goes into all kinds of detail about how you're doing with your keywords. Do you have performing keywords? Do you not? Which are they? Exactly how much of your traffic is coming from your mobile uh, smartphones versus tablets versus laptops versus desktops. Um, you know, all the usual statistics, we go through all of your landing pages and all of your ads and we, we come up with compelling ad text and recommendations and summaries and all kinds of information. I'll show you a, a sample in a second. But it's to help you do all these things that pr 
probably may have enticed you, you saw in your invite some of these bullet points, um, to join this conference to begin with. We find that people that conduct our, our audit and put in, in place some of these things immediately reduce their wasted budget by 30% or more. Remember I was saying just reducing your non-performing keywords by itself, just that one little piece of 200 different points that we look at can reduce it by 20-25% alone. We lower your cost per click, help you get higher rankings in your search results. Again, it's all about that quality score and raising that quality score, raising your relevancy. We help you write compelling ads that get customers clicking on you. We look at your landing pages and help you give you advice on how to generate more leads and sales, help you understand your mobile traffic, learn exactly which keywords are working, eliminate those that are costing money, help you re increase ROI and reduce costs at the same time, again with these simple fixes that seem common sense but most people just don't know how to do. And again, our average is 25 to 50 percent, sometimes higher. Know, how, know what your competitors are doing and how you, how you measure up against them and how you can competitively bid about the, against them. We look at that as well. We help you attract qualified, more higher paying customers to your products and services. So you're not just getting the, you know, the low hanging fruit, you're getting the, you know, the really ideal folks that you're looking for that are going to come keep coming back to you or spend those, spend those big dollars. And by the way, our audit has a 100% money back guarantee. If you don't, we, we're so confident in it that it, you're going to find it useful that we give, we give you your money back, no questions asked if you, if you don't think it's valuable to you, if there's nothing in there that you didn't already know or that doesn't help you. It's yours to keep, by the way. This is a no obligation thing. We're here trying to help existing advertisers with their, with their um, audit. We often recommend to companies, a lot of companies um, come to me and say, well, I already have a, a company managing my pay-per-click for me. You know what? Audit them. See how they're doing. Because a lot of times there may be things, a lot of things that they're not doing that this audit can help shed light on. We really do this. And by the way, we do this audit by hand. It takes us seven to ten days to do. This is not an automated thing. The recommendations are done by a pay-per-click specialist like myself after all the research has been done and all this, everything has been compiled by our team. So it's really a, a lengthy process, and we sit down and go through it with you point by point to make sure you understand it. And then if you want to continue to, if, you, if there's something we can help you with further, great. If not, great. It's yours to keep and do with as you wish. You can use it with your existing management company. You can throw it in the trash. You can implement some of the things on your own and, and start saving some money. It's up to you. So here's a... a Sample couple pages. I'm not going to go through all 17 pages here, but this is just a sample of a summary to give you kind of a flavor for it. And by the way, I'm going to give you a link at the end of uh, our presentation, and I'll email it as well, where you can see a full sample report of what it, what the whole thing looks like. Okay. But this is a summary page that gives you the statistics, some a lot of the statistics, a lot of our overall ratings. Where's my mouse here? Again, see you can see. Um, Impressions by device, mobile, tablets, and so forth. You see Bing. This one was done for both Bing and Google, which, by the way, we can do both. We can do Yahoo. We can even do Facebook. So if you're advertising across multiple platforms, we can do that for you. Here's an example of some of our recommendations. These are the areas that we find you know, people need, need work. If they're doing a great job, we tell them you're doing a great job. But if there's something that you need you need help with or need work, we make recommendations and specific notes. Again, this is all very custom done and hand done. And we tell you how we can help you or suggest how you can do it on your own. So this is how we can help you. Again, with this, first of all, this audit report. You can go to this website here. Again, don't worry about it. I'm going to send it to you in an email. But if you want to write it down, you can. Normally it's $499, again, done by hand, takes us 10 days to do it. Today we're offering it to people only in our educational seminars for not $199. And again, that includes the full PDF report with our summary recommendations. You have the no-risk money-back guarantee. We do the free consultation with you to go over it, and it's yours to keep and do with as you wish. 
Now we have a few other products and services that are related to pay-per-click and related to what we talked about today that I'd also like to review with you really quickly because I think you're going to find them of real value. But I'm going to go to a, our, one of our landing pages right now actually to talk about that in a little bit more detail. Give me one second here. Okay. All right. So, so we talked about our pay-per-click audit reports and the $500 value and why that's so important. If nothing else, I strongly encourage you to consider this. We can pretty much guarantee that you'll see a you'll see a 20% reduction in, in in your budgets or or increase in your ROI, one or the other or both. So I um, strongly encourage you to consider that. We also offer a full website audit report. Now this is for your main website. Not your, we're not talking about pay-per-click anymore. We're talking about your actual website. And if you're using your website for pay-per-click, that's okay too because this report goes into a lot more depth. It actually looks at your entire kind of web presence, your web marketing overall. We look at your SEO and how optimized is your web site. We look at social media. We look at we look at you know how many links you have. We look at all kinds of different factors to tell you how you're doing overall when it comes to web presence and when it comes to your website and how your website's ranking and how Google sees your website as relevant or not. Because that's important too. And by the way, that that impacts your pay-per-click rankings. If you have great pay-per-click rankings or if you're spending a lot of money on pay-per-click but your website is on page seven and not getting any clicks, Google's probably not going to put you in one of those top spots no matter how much you're paying. They want to see you doing a variety of things. They don't want to see just pay-per-click or just SEO or just social media or just email marketing anymore. They look at everything that you're doing. So very important as well to look at this website audit. For those of you that are interested in the pay-per-click audit report, I also strongly encourage this and a lot of our clients take advantage of this or a lot of the folks we talk to because what we do is we do the full audit report like we talked about. We go through it with you and then we actually go through into your account and do the full restructure ourselves. We implement all the things that we talked about. We regroup your keywords. We remove the negative ones. We remove the non-performing ones. We expand the ones that are performing. We um, increase your ad text. We write them for you with your approval, of course. We help you with your landing pages. So all of that stuff, we actually take the audit and literally do it for you. And a lot of our clients, a lot of clients come to me and say, Nicole, you know what? I don't want to mess with this. I don't know what to do with this audit report. Just do it for me. I want to get these results. So this we're offering a $1,000 value, $299 today. Just $100 more to get the full account restructure as well. So encourage that as well if you're considering the audit. Another product that we have that's really cool that I'm super excited about, and I think you will be too, it's our mobile friendly or RWD unlimited landing page platform. So let me explain what that is. Basically, we create an RWD mini site for you. We create your own custom landing page. We do the design. We do all the back end. You have your own content management system where you can log in and with a click of a button, you can see who's clicking on your leads, who's filling out your forms. You can change your keywords. You can change titles. You can change any text or pictures or anything that's on your page. You can, you can change yourself. And you can create new pages with a click of a button. You can create as many as you want. You can have a 1,000 if you want. And we host it all, by the way. It's all responsive web design. Everything is in responsive. We do the first page for you. We can do the others for you as well if you need help with content, if you want to do multiple pages for multiple products or get really specific. But this is a really great value. It's a product I've never seen out there anywhere else. So it's something that if you're considering responsive web design or you want to expand your landing pages or just take your campaign to that next level, something I strongly encourage. Normally, we have a $1,000 setup fee to do the design and programming work. RWD is a pretty difficult thing to program um, because you're literally doing like for four different devices all at once. And so it's four times the work. And it's $197 a month. Today, we're offering it to our VIPs. 
to you for $99 a month, no setup fee. And we still do that first design and content and page for you and then train you on how you can set, continue to do your own pages or help you from that point on doing it. Finally, if you just want this whole darn thing and you want us to take over and just manage your account, we have a package for that too. Over $4,000 value. Actually, it's more than that because I don't think that includes the, the uh, monthly landing page thing. But you get all the services that we just talked about, the website audit, how you're doing overall on the web and with your main website, the pay-per-click account audit, the account restructure, the unlimited uh, landing page platform. And you get all of this for $3.99 a month. No setup fees, no upfront costs. We just ask you to commit to us for a year. So this is an amazing package. I couldn't believe it when my CEO approved this because um, I worked with him on, on some of these packages. And uh, I, just, I just couldn't believe it because it's such a great value. So anyway, these are some of the ways that we can help you. We also do full-on management of your, of your pay-per-click if you'd like us to do that. Um, we do responsive web, web uh, sites in general, not just for pay-per-click, but for your regular websites. And of course, we do all other forms of marketing that I talked about earlier. So I'm going to send you a link with this. I encourage you to use it. You're going to use the, uh, the coupon code GMRVIP to get these special discounts today. I'll include that in the email too so you have it. And I'm just going to go back to uh, here to kind of finish up here. So I hope today has been valuable for you. I hope it's been educational, if nothing else, whether we go on to help you or not. That's fine. We just want to help educate uh, some of the other uh, advertisers that are out there. And I hope that we've done that today. And I hope we've given you some tips on how, things that you can do, whether with our help or on your own or with your, with your own web company, to help increase your sales and your ROI and start maximizing that with your pay-per-click campaigns. So I want to thank you so much for your attendance and your attention today. I'm sorry that I think we went a little overboard here on our time, but I appreciate you guys sticking, sticking around. And I'm going to go ahead and um, unmute everybody now to see if we have any questions. Okay. Do I have any questions? Anyone? I did that fabulous of a job. <laughs> you did a great job. Thank you. Okay. Well, if there's no other questions, um, again, I'm going to be following up with you personally with an email after this presentation, so you'll have my contact information. If anything comes up, I encourage you to give me a call at any time. If I can answer any questions for you personally um, about your company or about your account, I'm happy to do so. And I want to thank you so much for your time today. Have a great day. Nicole.